Uh, I'm a zoologist by training and an artist by inclination. So I've always been keen on drawing ever since I was a little kid. So I've worked on mainly fish for the last 25 or so years, I suppose. And more recently, having looked at all those, those fish, all that great diversity, I've been more and more interested in, in um, looking at their environment, looking at them in the environment and portraying them in the environment. So look at the fish that are there, look at how they're how they behave, their patterns and how they're being affected by change. So what I've been doing is, is worked out a way to go underwater and uh, find a, the environment I want to portray and then spend through three, four weeks uh, diving every day on the same spot, drawing that environment. Other fish will come and become completely used to your presence and normally timid things will come out and you start to see what's really going on. I think this book is unique in the, the totality of its coverage. There have been guides to regional areas which have, which have covered the, the total fauna of a region. But I think it's the first time that a book has come out that's, that has that total coverage. It looks at everything from 5,000 metres to depth to little desert springs and alpine streams. So it's unique in that sense. And I think it's also unique in that it, it represents 25 years of, of work illustrating fish uh, and that in itself is somewhat unique. My first ever diving experience was just the other side of Fremantle Harbour from here and a mate uh, lent me a scuba tank and the first time I put my head underwater and I could stay there, I didn't have to come up to breathe, I was sold, that was it for me, uh, that's all I wanted to do. I still love it. The fish are under a lot of pressure, you know, everyone wants to catch fish, there's money there and so on and so forth, their habitat's being degraded. I feel if I can uh, show people just how astoundingly beautiful they are, how well adapted they are, the diversity that we have, if I can uh, pass some of that feeling onto the general public, that's a step towards them saying, well look, it, it, it deserves respect, it needs to be looked after, look how beautiful it is, uh, look how precious it is really. So that's what I want to try and that's the message I'm trying to carry.